Hi friends and welcome back to Parshati's Pulmonology and uh, today is uh, basis of chest x-ray part 3 and today we are going to study how to identify lobes and segments on chest x-ray. Uh, before exactly going into that one, we need to study an important sign that is sill out sign. According to this sign, the border of any adjacent organ will be blurred if there is any lesion contiguous with the organ. The definition seems difficult but when you understand with an example it will be very easy. Okay, see uh, on the uh, see the chest on the left side. Okay, this is cardiac, cardiac, and this is the lung. Okay, they both are side by side. Okay, this is uh, your lung, right lung, and this is your cardiac. If there is any lesion in the right mid lobe. Okay, then the cardiac border will appear blurred. Okay, that was the definition says. Okay, there is a, like when cardiac and lung are side by side, contiguous. If there is any lesion in the lung, the cardiac border will appear blurred. Okay, there is a simple explanation. Okay, see the X-ray on the right side. Uh, you can see the diaphragm is not clear on the right side, but it's very clear on the left side. Okay, these are the lower lobes. Okay, this is the lower lobe, and here comes the diaphragm. Okay, there is a lower lobe involvement, so the diaphragm border is blurred. Okay, that means there is a diaphragmatic sill out. Okay, there is a diaphragm, the diaphragmatic border is silhouetted. Then the row, then there will be involvement of the lower lobes. Okay, that is what the sign says. Okay. Coming to the how we can apply this sign on identifying the different segments and lobes. Okay, I have made it in a tabular column. Uh, if there is involved blurring of the, or the silhouetting of the right cardiac border, then the mid lobe is involved. Okay, if there is a silhouetting of this cardiac border, border, then right mid lobe is involved. Same on the left side, there is silhouetting. Then the lingual segment of the left upper lobe is involved. The diaphragm is silhouetted as you saw the X-ray on the previous slide, and the lower lobes are involved. And this is the Descending iota. If descending iota is involved, then left lower lobe is involved. If there is an the ascending iota, this part is involved, margin is uh, silhouetted, okay, then right upper lobe and the segment is involved. The iotic knuckle is silhouetted, then your posterior segment of the left upper lobe is involved. Okay, that is how you apply the silhouette sign to the identification of the lobes. Okay, six different uh, silhouette sign and six different identification of the lobes and segments. Okay. Other than silhouette sign, what else, how else can we identify? Okay, this is mainly regarding the I mean, there are three segments in the upper lobe, apical, posterior, and anterior. Okay, sorry, apical, posterior, and anterior. So here we are going to study how we identify the three different segments. Okay, you can see these are the anterior ribs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and these are the posterior. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, we are mainly regarding concerned regarding the anterior ribs. The part of the lung in the lesion is above the anterior border of the first rib. Okay, there is an anterior border of the first rib. Then, the, if there is a lesion here, then it is in the apical segment of the upper lobe. Bilateral. If there is a lesion between the first and the second rib, then it is in the posterior segment of the upper lobe. And this is the lesion between the second border of the second rib and the minor fissure. Where does the minor fissure run? It it runs in the third coastal cartilage. Okay, anterior rib, third coastal cartilage. It's a horizontal fissure. It runs like this. So there is a lesion between the second between the second rib and the minor fissure. Then it then it is in the anterior segment of the upper lobe. First rib above apical. Second first and second posterior. In the second and the minor fissure, it will be anterior segment. This is how we identify the different segments of the upper lobe. Coming to the lower lobes, uh, when you pass a line through the hilum and there is a lesion, just in the paracardiac region, not causing sill out of the right cardiac border, then it is in the superior segment of the lower lobes. Okay. And if there is a region in the paracardiac region without sill outing of the cardiac border, then it is in the posterior or middle basal segment. Uh, remember, on the left side, there won't be any middle, middle basal segment, okay? That you have to be careful. Okay, this is how you identify the superior segment of the left lower lobe and the posterior and middle basal segment of the lower lobes, okay? The pass a line through the hilum, then it, if the lesion crosses the hilum and it is in the paracardiac, then it is superior segment. If it is in the paracardiac, that, as I shown in the uh, x-ray, then it is in the posterior middle basal segment. Other segments can be identified based on the lateral view. Okay, This is mainly studying about the PA view and the remaining segments can be identified only on the lateral view. Okay, Slout sign, then upper lobe band, lower lobe. Okay? So any comments please mention in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. All for patience.